starting race number 11 on the K&N Pro Series West. Dylan Kwasniewski out in front. Well, with four races to go, you got to say there's really not a race for the championship. Greg Persley running second. But he has such a huge lead, Phil. I don't think he has to be careful and worry about points. No, and that's the beauty of it. I talked to Greg, and he said that I, we really feel like we are comfortable enough that we can really go for wins. Certainly, it's not that he hasn't. He's won six of the nine races, but he can really concentrate and maybe push that envelope just a little bit extra to try to get more wins. Yeah, because if you're close in the points, this is the time of year where you start being a little bit careful and trying to think more about a championship than the race. Yeah, had he not lost that engine in Portland, there's no telling what, how big of that point lead he would have had. There's Brent Thompson sitting your screen, as we said, top five in points, back running full time this year. He's gotten by Luis Martinez in the sixth car. He's had some good moments. There's Kwasniewski, our leader, running into some lap traffic. Michael Walt about three, four car lengths behind. Kwasniewski really running hard and putting a, a number of cars a lap down and it is really easy to get a lap down on a quarter mile track when you lap this racetrack at 13 or 14 seconds it is very easy that was the 52 car right there Dave Garber Dave's a local driver here now Michael Walter's going to try to put Dave a lap down I think he's going to be able to do it there's Eric Holmes Greg has Persley been able to get Eric by Greg. Eric yeah. Holmes now in third place we talked about how strong he was last year and how strong he was going to be this year he has now moved up into third spot and moved up the racetrack what's one thing i'm noticing look at the line michael walter has schooled these guys and had them move up top but there's still a long way to go in this race cameron haley 15 years old trying to take on the veteran the points leader greg persley my goodness. Got a little bit loose that time off the corner. You see he dips his left sides down below the white line. He has a preferred line down here in the bottom. These guys have been making the top side work. But I tell you, Haley, I think will prevail. Oh, got a little lap traffic. Greg Persley uses John Wood for a pick. And that really hurts uh, Haley and his chance to get by Persley. What we're seeing from Haley is with the local knowledge, I know on those late models, when they run here, he is down low all night long. Yeah, without a doubt here. But these guys, this, you know, you get so many cars running the bottom of the racetrack, it gets slick down there. I think you go up there, it's a little bit better, better grip on that top side, farther away around the racetrack, but you get a little more grip. And so far, Persley has been able to hold off the youngster. Good battle right there. Again, putting another car, Dave Garber, as you said, local driver. It's going to lap down. Dave runs this racetrack as well as Spokane, which is going to be our next race here in the K&N Pro Series West Division. Look at Haley still trying to get by him. We are halfway through this race. Wait. Doing a nice job. He's not leaning on Greg at all, giving him plenty of room. You see him get a little bit loose that time up off of two. Laps clicking by quickly. Didn't take us long to get to the halfway point. Certainly didn't. What a great battle here. Personally, does not want to give this spot up. Boy, fighting hard on the outside. Persley, Daryl Har, lap car right in front of him. Lap traffic really comes into play on a quarter mile track. It certainly does. This side by side battle here when they get up to these lap cars. So you've got Daryl Har right now. He's on the bottom of the racetrack, but you've got Jack Sellers, I believe, up top. No, that's Justin Funkhauser and Jack Sellers' team car, but Persley splits them. Greg Persley doing a great job getting by these lapped cars, and he's able to hold off Cameron Haley, who does not have as much experience. Yeah, Greg Persley's probably been racing longer than Cameron Haley has been alive. <laughs> exactly. 15 years old. That is just amazing. Phil has a great race car, though. Once you, once you strap the helmet on, it really makes no difference how old you are. Driving these cars around this track, uh, they're a little heavier than the late models that Cameron runs every week here. And it is a little bit of a different feel to it. Oh, without a doubt, these bias ply Goodyear tires are different. Obviously, the heavier, the heavier car, as well as the 675 horsepower, trying to get hooked up to this quarter mile track. 
Dylan Kwasniewski is still our leader after he passed Greg Persley. He has really checked out. I mean, there's a big difference between first and second. There's the battle for sixth. That's a good one. It certainly is. These guys have been battling the entire race, it seems like, with Michael Self, Ben Kennedy, the 61 of Brett Thompson. Brett's right on the bottom. Ooh, just almost ran into the left rear quarter panel of Michael Self. Michael was trying to get by the Garber 52 car. Well, the lap traffic is pulling up high, so you got to go low to get around them. That's really considerate of those lap cars to move high out of the way. And meanwhile, Kwasniewski continues to click off cars. He has lapped at least half the field now. Yeah, without a doubt. Really setting a pretty toward uh, pace. He's moved well ahead of the second place car right now, Michael Waltrip. Brett Thompson, Michael Self, they've been battling most of the night. Self's a guy who would really like a good run here. He has run well at times. Other times, well, not so good. A couple top five finishes this year. There's this battle for fourth continuing. Persley goes way up the racetrack. Trying to take the high line to get around the youngster. And so far, Cameron Haley has been really impressive. You know what's amazing, Mike? You can see, you can catch a glimpse of Eric Holmes right in front of them. As hard as these guys have been battling, as you see Haley go ahead and take over that spot, they've not really lost that much ground to the 20 car of Eric Holmes. Now, Greg Persley, who won the pole here a year ago, did not have a good finish. He finished 18th out of 20 cars a year ago. Well, that was a tale of two seasons for Greg Persley. Qualified extremely well last year, had a lot of bad luck till right at the very end when he started winning some races. But man, has he put it together this year. He only led 18 laps a year ago. Kwasniewski coming off that win of Colorado, looking awfully strong. You see, even Kwasniewski now has moved up the racetrack. I tell you, these guys are looking for some grip up there. There's Michael right now running second. Look how high he's running. Moved in the second place, started fifth. I don't know, though, if he has anything for Kwasniewski. To me, Kwasniewski, really the class of the field here tonight. I think Michael right now is running a line that probably nobody has ever run here. And he's moved into second place behind the 16-year-old Dylan Kwasniewski. We've clicked off 93 laps here in the Toyota TTC 150, presented by Miller Lite. We're in Montana Raceway Park. Got a good battle right now for third. Cameron Haley has caught Eric Holmes. Cameron has the bottom. Eric's been running that high line. Again, this is Cameron Haley's first ever race in the K&N Pro Series West. And remember, these are team cars, both cars out of Bill McAnally's stable, as well as the 12 car running right ahead of this side-by-side -side battle, Michael Waldron. Eric Holmes is still looking for his first win of the season. His best finish this year, second place on the road course at Portland. Well, Haley doing a nice job keeping that car off of Eric Holmes' car. So easy to come off these corners and lean on the car on the outside. Cameron hasn't done that. I'll mention again, he has Rob Dixon as the crew chief, and Rob really knows how to set up a car for this racetrack. He was here last year, and that really helps to have a veteran turning the wrenches for it. Yeah, without question. How about Dylan Kwasniewski putting Moses Smith, our second place point man, a lap down? And, and he's put a lot of cars a lap down the night, setting his sights on Carl Hahn now in that two car. Yeah, Carl's having a good run. He's running up in the top 10 right now. But he's about to go a lap down to Kwasniewski. Would love to see a caution flag real quick. Totally dominant in this race, Dylan Kwasniewski going for his second win in a row and you see Eric Holmes last year's champion holding off Cameron Haley. Look how much higher Michael's running in that 12 car. Now Eric Holmes is running the high side of the racetrack and look at Michael he's a full car width above him. Michael Walter showing his experience and you're right he's shown a lot of other drivers the way around this racetrack. He's not afraid to go up there and find some new territory. But they're chasing him. This this side by side battle is chasing Michael down now. Looks like Michael's car may be getting a little bit loose. 
It what? does indeed. And we might have a three wide battle here in a moment. Walter up high. Here comes Holmes in the middle. Haley down low. I didn't, I didn't think you could run three wide here, but these uh, guys may do it. I, I didn't either. Look at Holmes. He's drawing side by side now with Walter. Haley sitting back watching him. He's going to try the low line. That's one danger of running up there when nobody else does. You have that new pavement, but it's a little bit more abrasive than the pavement that has a lot of rubber on it. Michael may have used his tires up a little bit. Eric Holmes, Michael Waltrip, teammates for this race, and Holmes looks like he has taken the position away. Haley's going to try to do the same thing underneath Michael Waltrip. It's amazing. Michael was talking about all the drivers around him. You add their, all their ages up, and they wouldn't even equal heads. You know, do you think Cameron Haley is thinking, I'm passing Michael Waltrip here? A two-time Daytona 500 winner? Exactly. I would think he is thinking that. Yeah. But keeping his cool. Coming up on some lap traffic. Eric Holmes had to jump out of the throttle there for just a moment. The 88 of John Wood in that white car. Heavy, heavy traffic now. Eric Holmes moves to the inside of the 52 car. And that lap traffic has enabled Holmes to get a good grip on second place. Third and Michael Walter. I think you're right. I think he's used up those tires a little bit. Run on that extremely high line. 52 car did had no idea that Michael was that far up the racetrack. Yeah, the lap cars are trying to go up high to stay out of the way. Saw Dylan Lupton in that 07 car. The reason we're not showing Dylan Kwasniewski is he has checked out. Yeah, but I mean, there is nobody even in his zip code right now. See right in front of this side by or side by side battle for second. You see a uh, Lewis Martinez in the six and Moses Smith in the 16. Both those cars already a lap down. Haley has that spot. He got by the 20 of Eric Holmes in traffic. The 15 year old Cameron Haley now moved into second place. What an incredible run he's had. Now he's moving by the lap car of Moses Smith. Now he's going under the six of Martinez. That's a battle for the top 10 right there. Martinez has 10th. Moses Smith right now running 11th. You talk about Smith and Martinez. If you missed the setup just a little bit here, you missed it. Yeah, especially you know? with all this green flag racing here. If you have some caution flags to cool the tires and to close back up, that's one thing. We've only seen two caution flags this entire race. Most of the races in this series, there are no pit stops. So you got to go with what you got, unlike the other series where you're able to make adjustments. Not so here. And Cameron Haley has got a great setup on his car. Eric Holmes now has fallen back a bit, uh, probably three, four car lengths behind him. He's involved in a heavy traffic with Luis Martinez and his teammate Moses Smith. Able to clear him, and now maybe he can set his sights at Daryl Haar, another lap car right in front of him. Well, it's all Dylan Kwasniewski right now here in Kalispell, Montana.